good morning to everybody and it is always so nice to see people so many coming and a weekend and especially when it is uh, so many things happening at least in bangalore or overall valentine is coming and there is a uh, aero shows going to come start before the valentine in bangalore and there is a shivaratri so so many things happening parallelly so let me start this is my one of the favorite and i can tell you it is one of the hottest topic uh i because last one week itself i have got a four different um uh, things on this so i'm very happy because i have there are so many stories including of course anand rego's story itself why the right horizon started there are many many more stories uh, which i'm going to share it which is a life stories and you can see how things has changed i have also been uh, noticing being having a quite old parents in laws and all how the things are different from previous generation to us and how we are trying to take care of it so uh, today i have just put it across uh, more on a retirement plan on tax efficiency the reason i started this is uh, of course retirement plan is the one of the top uh, things across the globe it is a top but in india it was not now it is catching it up very high but the reason i started this because of a budget because budget has come up with the things that if we are not able to take a uh, income plans which is about 5 lakhs lot of people have done it this to get a continuous income it's going to be taxable and that was uh, one of the reason i just thought uh, let me make you aware which is a good part of it and i uh, feel very happy or i can say very satisfied because whatever i given a webinar or i give a recommendation on and offline it is always which i have implemented myself or in our personal portfolio either anil's or my portfolio i have never given any advice or some things which i have not implemented myself so this is the very common i can say people have been seeing a lot of hindi movies and so true uh, the survey i am going to show you which is true i spoke with my parents i spoke with my in-laws i because we have so many people who are above 70 that is the one thing which lot of people have been thinking because they bring and brought up is that um, my kids should take care of me okay so good thing is our generation means the generation which is going now are working has come across that because most of our kids are going abroad or maybe another cities to work so expecting them to take care of us is not so easy second thing is they do have their own life and a family to run so how to manage ourselves so i keep uh, teasing my daughter my daughter is 21 years old and i keep teasing that if you want you have to come and meet me instead of me coming and staying with you or taking care so she keeps fighting why not but because our bring and brought up is like that that how to become ourselves independent as a uh, financially and of course physically and mentally also so these are the facts and figures i have got it from uh, i think so website and i am going to give the credit to them but which is so true uh so i wanted to tell you this because these are been done on a sample so it's not necessary that it is 100% true so as it says sample size is only around 400 but this gives the details of saying it i do lot more a webinar in corporate where uh, induction time or the ease of so retirement or whatever lot of people will keep saying two things to me one is i have to take care uh, of my children and they will take care of my retirement this is a very common thing they'll say retirement is too far rachna why we should take care i have so many more years to do doesn't feel very important part of it my life is too complicated than thinking of retirement it's too early to plan for it which is the highest answer people give it across i feel guilty to admit that my number one goal is other than this so uh, i don't know how many of you will relate to this but these are the very common answer i also get it across these are the things which apart from that uh, i spoke with one person um, last week or maybe few days back uh, which told me the same thing ki rachna uh, it is so difficult 
because now a lot of education is taking much higher than the I um, even retirement. So she is doing a PhD and uh, sorry MD in a medical. My I have removed my PF, my PPF, my earnings and everything to make sure my daughter is able to do the studies. And she is only having a three more years of retirement. So my question to her was the same. It is so nice as a parents, we are able to do it. But are you sure that you don't have uh, anything left for because you have removed even PF, PPF and you don't have any other earnings? So her point is, Rashna, I don't have any other choice to work maybe till 70. I'm not saying there's something wrong. Of course, if given a choice, my physical uh, body dry, I will also work till my deathbed also because I love my work. But I am trying to say we should work what we love to do, not for money, but for our own passion. So sometimes the stress levels goes very, very high. When you know that I don't have a financial, I think so basic financial things which I will be able to work when I'm not there. These are the things coming very, very common when we are there. Our lifestyle is going very high. Uh, we, on an average, people are asking me around one to two lakhs a month. And I was thinking one to two lakhs itself, uh, most of our customers are middle class and above where, of course, they have a good earning potential, but one to two lakhs is a good enough. But still, one to two lakhs to get a per month which is inflation linked, you will surprise to know when I'm doing a calculator, you need a very, very good calculator when you required a money from age of 55 or 60 till 85. Because on an average age, people are living more than 80 to 85. That is the second, uh, I can say the survey says only 46% has done for a retirement, 22 for child education, buying a house and a marriage. That's a second uh, thought. I always feel that when I'm one of the person who is very against the rules changing on PF, PPF and other things, because at least for uh, our age people, 12% of the basic is to go to the PF. So I used to feel at least happy somebody is investing around 24%, 12 from our side and 12 from employer side. So at least you are able to save some money for your retirement because None of us are going to get the money as a retire. So I keep teasing my dad. My dad is an army person. I'm ex-army. So that's why very disciplined also. And what happened there? His, I think so, pension is going much bigger than the what he has ever earned. Their DA and basic every time it increased. So I keep saying the people on that time was one thing is good that they used to get a pension. Or if they are in a bank or something in a government, they were raised to get it. Of course, after 2009, those are also stopped. But none of us are going to get a pension. How we are going to take care of our own basic requirement? That's the one thing I keep telling. Uh, we have to make sure if I need a one lakh, so maybe 30,000 I need for a basic staying. I am assuming people are debt free by that time. And you need a 30% for lifestyle and 30% for medical. So basic need has to be very sure. It can be a guaranteed plan. It can be pension or whatever you have it because there are different ways people have thought of which is not working right now. That era keeps changing. Previously, FDs people used to give 12, 14% and then they continued. Now there is taxation is coming so high then FD doesn't make sense. This is done by again on the economics time. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you please uh, stop share and share it again? We are uh, yeah, now heading this. Yeah. yeah. Can you please able to, hear? able to hear? Yes. Can you yes. see? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Now we So um, another thing is how each of us is going to take this is the new things which i have learned recently uh, because i have kept uh, for my parent my dad is an 82 years old he is an alzheimer patient so we required an elderly care person because all of us are working we can say maybe 15 to 20 minutes speaking with them how are they taking care of a medical all those things but somebody needs a full-time support 
to do it. And that is the one thing I've realized it recently because I've done for my parents around one year back. I have met two more people and elderly care is coming a very, very big thing. And I'm very surprised that that cost is much, much higher than the what is their pension cost is. Uh, means per month required. So they may require 25,000 for taking care of a normal food, medical, this, that and all. But the elderly care is required almost 25 to 30,000 per month to take care of them. So that person is uh, taking care only on a basic things, giving them a medicine, doing them exercise, taking them for a walk. But that cost was never we included in our uh, retirement. And I don't know if you think about and see across a lot of uh, companies and uh, even the new uh, age companies are coming on this. And this is the another thing when I was writing my uh, next five year plan yesterday, I was updating and I was just also thinking that I used to do when I was in the US, it's called the time library because I realized that people don't have a time to speak. And I used to do that. I used to go with the old people, read newspapers for them or the books for them. But we don't have a structured as of today. I know few people who are doing and I do sometimes when I have time to go and meet people and listen to their stories because they don't have so many people or families to speak about or a time library concept. So similarly, these things are changing in our retirement also here. How to take care of not only medical, elderly care, debt-free, independent, how to manage the interest and the tax. Because on an average, if a person is asking me 1 lakh or 2 lakhs a month, he is already in a 30% tax bracket. So we have to make sure that 20 to 30% tax bracket also we should look at as inflation link plus a tax efficiency also. I'm giving a few facts figures. Of course, these are from the survey. I have got it and credit. I'm giving to them. So just to aware of that, where we can link ourselves and try to implement. Most of the 12% of the Indian workforce are covered under various pension, which is very, very less. So most of us, when we say is like a NPS, let us say NPS itself. If we are going in a new regime, people may not do it. Why people were doing an NPS? Because we were getting a good tax benefit over and above ATC. So when I was speaking recently, as the people are, our government trying to move everybody to the new regime and there is no deductions. So I was actually feeling more uh, bad, more than attacks. Actually, people will stop reducing the investment. And I being in this industry, I have meet, I see, I speak. Maximum stress people get it across only on the financial. Recently, again, I spoke with uh, one of the lady and she was telling Rachna, I have earned enough. I have gone across the globe. Very good company, top five in the US-based company, earning 5 CR plus in a year. My portfolio was totally different. But you will surprise to know that one event in my life has made my portfolio zero. And I'm resetting myself at 55 where I don't have even much time. So sometimes I always say it's not so easy to manage the money. So how to manage to take care of your risk and other things is also very, very important part of it. So sometimes it is one side is we are uh, saving the money for a tax. Another way is to how to save money or invest money to make sure that all are, I can say, financial goals and peace of mind. I keep telling people, whoever uh, uh, they know me, I says I do only what my conscience is because I need to sleep within a five minutes I lie down on the bed because I have to be peaceful in a mind to make sure that happen. And that's what I'm asking. And today or any time when I take a webinar, I'm trying to do, you do it yourself, you do it through somebody, but do it. That is very important. Seven out of 10 Indian expect their children to support on the retirement. It's always a bonus. If they do, there is nothing wrong, but expecting so much it's sometimes it's difficult because as a person, we are not used to I'll give you my example. Uh, a lot of people say that, uh, why don't you settle down in abroad or something when I was working? And, and there was a, given a chance that you apply for green card and all. And I was the one person I says, no, uh, I don't find very comfortable anything across the globe than India. 
so if my kids are settled in us or any other place in across other than india i may not be able to go there so sometimes we ourselves has our own thoughts where we live in how we bring and brought up what is our value systems we may not be able to uh, stay with the kids or the kids may not have so much of financial plus the time to take care of the kids uh, parents also so expecting them to take care of our full retirement is um not sure coming it's good but i always believe in our mind we should be always a uh, free and independent when we are very free in our mind we get the best of our sleep and, and so i have asked one of our a uh, person who teach yoga uh, what is a happiness and uh, he claims that the happiness is when i get sleep within my 5 minutes and my morning bogal movement comes within a 1 minute and i am able to eat three meals so it's a very good physical biological and mental three fitness he says that is the way they define it so everybody have a how you define yourself and happiness and then it goes to the next level only 18% indian are invested to retire in a priority as a goal which is changing across i can tell you this is i think so done around a year back survey but if i take it now it will be different because now most of the people who are uh, coming to us are in range of 45 to 55 they normally says that rachna i wanted to retire you have to just tell me that i'll be able to get this much money for uh, 85 or 86 so today morning only at 7:30 8 o'clock i got a call this person was a uh, hr head of one of the main mncs earning quite good but she wanted to join um, shri shri ravi shankar as an instructor as a volunteer so she doesn't have any more money but she feels very high happy and uh, uh, i can say very peaceful so she said to me rachna i don't know my portfolio i don't know anything i just want you to tell me how much i can get life long with my this portfolio that's it i don't wanted to even do the reviews also so sometimes that is the one things one people wanted to ask very clearly how much you can earn and my uh, most conservative plans i tell them people is whatever is your portfolio if which ever liquid portfolio i mean you multiply by 6% and divided by 12 that should be your monthly income plans you can expect from the various uh, things if you combined as a portfolio 76% of the working age people in india expect comfortable retire life so when i was talking to uh, one person and they says nowadays i did need it around 3 to 4 lakhs and i said why you need a 3 to 4 lakhs because nowadays retire life is not at the age of 60 retire life is at age where you want to to quit a corporate or any work which is giving you money more and you wanted to work what you love to work it can be as i told about this customer she wants to do do the teaching in shri shri vishankar uh, ashram so she didn't want it to have so it's not that she's not working she's working as a volunteer not earning but she is a retired person so many person i know they are retired from corporate but they are doing a freelancing of course they may getting a money but it's not the same so they are working what they love to do but not for money of course if money is a by product you are uh, benefited in your portfolio but these are the different things where retirement comes and we have to make sure how you should be able to take care of those phase of life because earning is coming at around let us say on an average for us i'm talking about right horizons people start coming at age of 35 and average 50 people are taking a retirement so if you see that 15 years is the maximum time they are going to take a savings which takes care of a kids educations your vacation or if you have a emis and 50 to 85 which is 35 years more than double years they want a retirement phase which is called the payout phase and you can think of how much they should save where they have to take care of 35 years plus inflation also so these are the facts and figures which i'm trying to say why how where we should do it 
we have been doing very wonderfully well, including me and Anil, which is the next uh, slide, which I'm trying to say why Right Horizons uh, started. That was uh, his dream and first article for his where he has written that um, how he started the company and reasoning behind that he Anil Rego is a CEO and founder of Right Horizons. And this is the typical best uh, retirement life, I always believe, because I know him for from college days itself. So I knew that he was very clear that he want to retire from a corporate at age of 35. And he made his corporate corpus so much that at age of 30, means five years early, he was able to retire. And I still remember when my mom and my uh, mother-in-law was, that time was not a startup mode in 2003. They were not sure that you can start your own company kind of it. And, and he asked me the same question, do you think I can? And I still remember I told him, you should do it now because at least I am working. You should not say at the dead bed that I want to try and I didn't try it. So he said, yes, I'll try in five years. If things doesn't go back, I will go back and do the job. And the things went little reverse. Actually, after five years, I joined Right Horizons with him. And God this, we have been doing quite good. So both of us are in our own retired life. We may work more than what we were working before, or we may earn more than what we are earning. But we have an alternative income, which is coming. We have a corpus where we are not working for the money. We have a purpose to make sure that other people also arrive their financial dream and doing what they love to do without thinking that I may be getting a money. And finance is not your uh, decision time. That's the way the retirement is all about. So I'll just put the small video. Please let me know if you are able to hear. We plan and save for all our goals. But what about retirement? 92.6% of working population in India is not covered under any formal pension system. Earning age is reduced due to increasing focus on higher education and desire to retire early. Life expectancy is increasing and so as medical expenses. This makes the retirement planning the most crucial financial goal. Combination of SIP and SWP of mutual funds can help you to create your own retirement plan. Let's see how. If you start investing rupees 5000 monthly at the age of 25 through an SIP in equity mutual fund, your retirement corpus would be rupees 1.54 crores. You can switch it to debt mutual fund and start an SWP. With the expected return of 6% CAGR, your monthly withdrawal through SWP would be rupees 77,024. When you want to stop receiving it, you can also withdraw the entire corpus. Key to create your own pension-like monthly cash flow is to start early. If you delay your investment by even one year, your retirement corpus would be 1.36 crore. And monthly withdrawal amount through SWP will reduce to Rs. 68,486 monthly. To receive fixed monthly cash flow after retirement, start planning for your retirement with the help of SIP and SWP now. Mutual. So I uh, now go back to the major part, what I was trying to say that why we should do retirement and how are the best investment which are tax efficient. More than that, I wanted to explain you the tax rules because most of us, we doesn't do that part of it. So the person whom I was telling the story, she was working in a quite good, her salary was good. And she says, Rachna, I have taken a very high premiums. Uh, and because of one event, I was not able to pay the premium where minimum is five. So I should take a personal loan to pay the premium. And which is very, very surprised to me. Sometimes that uh, somebody has to take a personal loan to pay the premium. So when you are taking a high premium, there's nothing wrong. But make sure in case if I don't have a job tomorrow, my portfolio is able to take care of it. So those are the things where I will give you the small, small tip whenever you are taking any decision to do yourself and uh, doing the alignment. Most of us, we keep forgetting that 
inflation and other things maybe it's very less six six and a half seven percent but our lifestyle has gone much much higher so i was yesterday only talking to kids and they were saying okay we will because as we i told that we do normally a one um what you call food from outside once a week and then we were saying and the normal food which is i think so for three people um i don't eat outside food so it's they are saying that one pizza is costing around 800 mama or 900 and i was telling somebody salary maybe a 900 uh, in a day or something like that so the things has gone much much beyond we are becoming a lot more brand conscious we are becoming a lot more talking what people thinks and what are the new things are coming so we have to understand when we are doing that how much money we required for a retirement take care of your lifestyle so whatever you are spending now your lifestyle never change so if you're thinking as on today i am taking care of this much i am buying uh, purchases of birthdays anniversaries and gift and a vacation this much divided by 12 and then you take care of the overall level but make sure that whenever you are doing retirement planning add some buffer year on year or a step up inflation plus lifestyle inflation i have already spoken this retirement planning is very very important because uh now we are very much i can say a uh, nuclear family not having a joint family our life span is gone much higher our interest rates are going lower tax i if i say tax fees are coming much lesser the lifestyle has become much much different are not so simple i am sure uh, none of us must be having the purchases of our clothes at least 10 or 15 in a year we used to have it only on birthdays and uh, festivals now i think so it goes as per the discounts and we sometimes buy so i was cleaning the uh, with my daughter and she is saying oh i have purchased these many tops and it's new still the tag is not even removed but now the fashion is not there so i don't want it and i'll give away so that's another thing i have seen at least in young generation people sometimes they buy it because it's only 700 or 1000 bucks doesn't find a value in 1000 bucks and then after a 3 to 6 months they realize that 1000 rupees uh, top is not good so sometimes our lifestyles are different because how the impact of the ecosystem or the college and the friends works so these things we need to take care when we are having a uh, kids generation uh, next generation in the lifestyle have a very clear what is uh, our contribution now and which is going to take care most of us this is the another thing i keep telling retirement planning depends on two things one is financial which i am talking and how to do it which can be a 40% of your actual 60% is depend on how you are managing your time time is very important because lot of time when i have met people they saying rachna i don't know how to do sitting at home and i'm feeling depressed that is not a comfortable so things are going very very different leak so making your retirement planning is very important but most important part is how you are taking care of your own time either i keep saying you do some voluntary service you go and have a very good circle where you can play something you can have a walk you can do i don't know whatever you have a passion like a, you have a taking care of garden or uh, you can do the camera or whatever it is have to make sure that you are busy at least 3 to 5 days in a week and the rest you spend what you like to do in a family or whatever thing so this is retirement plan talking about very basic thing is set a goal this is my typical example i keep telling people is like your uh, google map if you don't set a target it will not give you the different ways so you have to set a target for your retirement and retirement targets are normally like i can say i want to retire at age of 55 as on today value of 1 lakh a month how much i should have a corpus by that time that person will calculate then financial uh, position will do uh, what are the different resources lot of resources people have it i can tell you like they have a rental income they may have a some pension plans they may have a good 
portfolio which can give it across i don't take any of the inheritance money till it comes to you that's another things i have noticed last few days people say no rachna my parents have this house my parent have this i said they may have a will which is against you and they may be charity they will do it maybe 99% it may come to you but till it is come not come to you please don't include in your financial and retirement planning because it takes its own sweet time and we don't know so most of the time i believe the retirement when you are doing a planning you do what is in your hand not in not in your hand evaluate risk as a risk i mean to say that when till you are working take a good things on equity exposure two or three years before your retirement we will move to the 70% equity 30% debt when the payout starts you start with the 50 50 and then go ahead that's a things we can keep realigning and doing across do it in a different asset class which is very very clear talking about how you will be able to get the minimum one third of the money irrespective of markets or a war or anything else happens which will take care of your basic needs and the rest you can get the things on your uh, equity where it's giving you the averaging part of it monitor i normally feel uh, twice in a year is a good to monitor overall level your portfolio so i'll just have a few uh, excel wanted to show you whenever you are planning to do can you just see my uh, excel sorry can you see my excel so yes sanjay i'll just make it little big and this uh, excel i will try to ask sanjay to give it to everybody you can add person's age uh, current age retirement age expectancy before payouts and after you can just say so he wants a 2 lakhs a month so here you can say uh, here we are trying to say what are the different ratio you wanted because this person is already there he want a moderate risk where 50 50 we are doing whenever you are doing 50 50 you can average around 8 to 9% uh, returns may come even though i always says you should take a payout so he says i may have a willingly to pay with the 4 crores but corpus as on today required 4.5 crores so i'll just put it across the formula to uh, tell how i arrived this you can do it yourself indirectly here i am just trying to say what is the rate rate is called rrr real rate of returns in a simple term is what is my expected returns versus my inflation so if my expected returns is 8 inflation is 6 so 2% approximation is your rate of return divided by 12 i'm doing because i'm doing on a monthly basis this is what his current age minus 85 so that is what it talks about number of months and he wants per month is a 2 lakhs that is the reason i got it into 4.47 which is approximately 5 cr that's the one things required how much corpus is required another thing is because he didn't have a 4.47 so you can play around with this you can take this as 1.9 you can say 1.7 or you can just say 1.8 so it is which is coming another way is i always say is which is coming very close by and when we give a plan we always try to say you can do it as a step up step up means we are not doing inflation every year we are doing inflation every 4 years or 5 years so he started with the 2 lakhs and then we are making every fourth year 2.5 lakhs then after 4 years 3 lakhs then after 4 years 3.5 lakhs like that we are increasing so there is a step up also a retirement which we can take care of it so how that works is you can just i'll just show the graphs more than the this is linked to your cash flows where we are trying to say that how the portfolio goes debt and equity ratios how much is the debt and equity 
how much is a portfolio value versus your your redeeming how much money you are taking in 5 years 10 years and what is the terminal value so this will keep changing if you noticed how the debt and equity ratio changes and how your portfolio changes as and when you are moving out from the money so this is a very common uh, portfolio we make there are different types of i can say portfolio you take care of it maximum you take care of uh, start with the debt and equity ratios then you will say what are the things you can do it in a debt and what all you can do it in a equity so debt normally it will come lot of people will have a rentals or a pension plans and the equity you will take care either depending on you a direct equity mutual fund pms or whatever so these are the different options people have it for retirement corpus to give it across inflation linked step up or non inflation linked so i'll just uh, stop this and i will show the another one which i have a sample uh, this is one it is coming very high you are able to see the another excel which says summary sheet no as of now no so this is the another question lot of time people have been asking okay how to do so this has been a like a hot cake and because of budget it is becoming super hot i can say uh, like a, you pay the regular premium for 5 years 7 years 10 12 years and you get the pension for next 25 years so that is another uh, my all time favorite i say that it is very good because you are getting a tax free returns of 6.7 and some places are 6.8 of course the payout has got reduced for last two weeks quite a lot but still it is giving around 6.7 or the uh, percentage tax free another questions people have been asking a single premium because a lot of people keep the fds quite high um it's only two companies are giving a single premium tax free okay these are tax free i'm not talking about pension plans pension plans are taxable so here you can just see so i just wanted to show you the xirr i am the one person who believes in a uh, things uh, like a lot of people says rachna this person is giving 8% 10% i believe that concept never changed so that is the one thing i have been telling somebody is giving like a 1 cr plus and if you see here this is what it is so it they always tell how much money you are getting with the annual percent so it says 7.8 but you have paid some money and few years 5 years or 10 years you are differing it differing means you are not taking a payout and then the payout starts so please do like this and do the xirr because xirr is a year on year returns on time based which will take care of the first few years when you have not received the money and money was with them that is the another things i have been seeing people i'm not saying they are misusing or miscommunicating but they will just tell you about the absolute return on that year onwards so they just say i'm getting 8% returns but they didn't calculate for first 5 years when you have given and not got the money so this is the another things i have uh, seen lot of people come across to me that this person is giving me uh, this much and why you are not giving me this much so i keep saying it's not the, my personal money i am just trying to say what is correct we should see the correct calculation then uh, what they are saying is a different way of calculation so i have just finished the calculation part of it so i am going in a presentation mode please tell me if you are able to see the presentation now yeah so i am just uh, going for a summary before i wind up and take the question answers um it's very very important to take a different asset class make sure you are reducing the volatility generate and have a good uh, talk about which is called hedge driven correlated uh, so i normally say as people it's an again concept i always believe in concept how your debt and equity 100 minus your age you should take it as a equity and that's the way it goes across help in a long term perspective there's a customer came to me he was a cxo again of a very good company 
and uh, he lost job in two weeks before and you won't believe the portfolio is really good big and if, if i was in his place i keep telling him you don't have to worry but when that some event happens people get very insecure and he told me rachna i am just trusting you you just tell me that i'll be able to survive 2 lakhs a month or not and i said yes you can survive even 4 lakhs why you are worrying then he says no because till now i was doing job now i don't know if i don't have job what i'll do i said it's fair enough you have a good uh, amount so sometimes somebody needs and he called me yesterday and he says yes i am going for a vacation now because you have given me the comfort and the peace of mind so sometimes it's just or uh, somebody wanted a second opinion to find it out because an event has happened where they are not able to get a comfort that if i'm not working what will happen so these are the things which you have to make sure for your retirement you take care separately so when i'm doing a retirement planning i normally ask a people three four questions one is should have a very good health cover nowadays these top ups are coming please take it like a 10 lakhs base and 50 lakhs uh, uh, top up or 90 lakhs top up with the minimum amount which is very important yesterday day before i think so spoke again somebody spent around 3 cr on a medical okay very surprising i've never heard of this amount but they spent it so nowadays having a good medical when we are now looking for retirement very important second part is make sure in your mind you are a debt free mind means in case you have a debt and taking care of your all the goals take that much term cover which is much more cheaper than your car insurance please take it so not if anything happens nobody knows about a life so you will be not paying or family is not paying for what debt you have taken second point third point is make sure what you are going to do when you retire very very important third point fourth is how to make a simpler life so this guy came to me he says that's now i have a money across some are in this bank some are in this dmat some are in this i have a one other other wealth manager i want to combine and one point of contact because i don't have a time to speak to four or five people make things simpler and more liquidable than uh, i can say fixed where you can't do it so when i was looking a uh, liquid assets for somebody it came to 20 25% and his bigger portfolio because rest is on real estate or it is in a uh, insurance okay so sometimes insurance also you can't redeem it till it is mature and all so these are the things you should look at when you are able to take the things i'll skip this because i'm going to tell in the next few slide the same thing very uh, clearly i can tell you concept wise lower risk low returns high risk high returns i usually use the word fixed returns and non fixed whichever is fixed means in time of investment they will tell you what is the returns you are going to get non fixed means when you are selling you will be knowing what is the returns you don't know this is the simple formula which i have just now told you about fixed and uh, low medium high another point every time high risk not need not to be a higher risk somebody asked me you know this uh, i don't want to name the amc the amc has given this much return and i said you wait and watch for two more weeks you will realize it they have the only one person have the highest adani in their the amc okay and then he says called me and he says why uh, i never checked it i said most of the people the problem is they just check the returns the people don't go to the next level where they are investing like a single different holding company itself is high itself is a very high risk so most of the time we have a uh, think of seeing the only past returns or the ratings and we buy the things we don't see the things like what is underlying part of it that's another things when we are doing yourself do it when your portfolio grows that's a question asked by so many when somebody should go and have the advisor and i keep saying it is a simple thing like you can think when you go to the doctor so when you have a cold cough fever you start doing yourself take a dolo take a steam do gargling haldi milk and all the stuff but when you feel this is third four days going up i should go similarly you will go when your portfolio grows higher so you know that my one risk may erode in lakhs not in thousand so i better do it to somebody who is better than them i'm not saying that advisor is always knows everything but i can say you he 
uh, going into a uh, wrong calls may be a 30% then you going into 50 to 60%. So these are the low investment options where we should look and what are the tax benefit we should try to do. Already the bonds were the time which has already uh, done a good last few years. Now it is going towards the downside, but if you still have, you can take it. I nowadays recommended instead of bonds, buying a mutual fund, which is having a bond related, mainly because of a tax efficiency. Bond comes under interest, mutual fund investing in a bonds come under capital gain. So that's a major part of it. It's good. Retirals, PF, PPF, EPFs are good, very good. Make sure of if you are 60 and above, take care of senior citizens which is giving the benefit, why not take it from the government? Insurance, pension plans are good, but pension plans, annuity plans are taxable. NPS is again taxable. Guaranteed plan and endowment plans and guaranteed plans are doing good, but above from 1st of April, above 5 lakhs per plan is a taxable. Tax efficiency is put FDs only for contingency. Contingency means whatever you are spending in a month into six months, that money should be in FDs. Otherwise, you put it in a debt funds or others because it is not making you a good overall return or tax free returns. Insurance which are tax free, you can try regular premium uh, 5, 8, 10, 12 and get 25 to 30 or lifelong tax free income. One time is also becoming quite good, which is called deferred, five years deferred or 10 years deferred. Please do XIRR instead of taking an absolute returns. Mutual fund debt is a good for a long term because it is coming under the capital gains. This is very important. I wanted to tell a lot of people don't understand this part is called EEE, EET and ETE. So it says exempt tax, exempt, exempt, exempt tax. Exempt, exempt, exempt. Depending on what kind of things you are doing because the taxation or accounting method works only on actuals versus accrued. So I'll give you a simple example. If you have an FD and your FD maturing after three years, but the tax you will pay every year, even the maturity is not done. Okay, because it is on accrued. Actual is if I have a mutual fund and if I have not sold it, I will not get the capital gain. So these are on the basis on the taxation. So if I am, when I'm paying the investment capital, what I'm getting the interest and the maturity value, all three are tax free. It's called EEE. If I am investing and interest is taking care, but when I'm selling, it's become taxable. It's called EET. And as I sold, FD is, even though if it is not matured, but still taxable is ETE. So these three part, please make sure whenever you are investing because that makes a lot taxable difference. With this, I stop my presentation and I'm happy to take a question answers. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I will be uh, reading out the questions. Uh, before that, I would like to request all the participants to, you know, write if you have any queries or questions in Q&A section, we will be taking from them. So the first question is, can you elaborate more on health insurance, selection criteria, amount, features, etc. What is an ideal age to go for it? Secondly, if we have company coverage, is it required for an additional one? Where you are reading, uh, Sanjay? In uh, Q&A section. Madhusudan or something? No. Second. Can you elaborate? Prashant? Yes. Name of the person? Mr. Prashant. Okay. So, uh, can you elaborate one on health insurance? What are criteria? So, coincidentally, I was doing that yesterday night itself. A uh, lot of people have taken a base at 5, 10 lakhs uh, because they don't have it uh, much because uh, corporate was taking care. I always believe that apart from corporate because of two reasons. One is even though you are young and when you're retiring from corporate, you will be at 45, 50. Now this getting a good health cover on a 45 and 50 is very difficult. Premium goes very, very high. Second thing is the health covers. It's okay to have a one parallel as a small cover, three lakhs or five lakhs. So you utilize your corporate cover. This will keep giving you no claim bonus and other things. But when you are out, you can do it. 
Third thing is, it's easier way nowadays when you are taking a health cover, take it as a top up where base is in on five when you can say 30, 40, 50, whatever lakhs as a top up. So that is a better way. I, I have been taken, of course, that time was not their top up. We have taken maybe 2013, almost like a 10 years back, I have taken a 50 lakhs cover for me, uh, which is a family floater. And I believe 25 to 50 is a very good peace of mind. I can tell you when we were having a COVID, a lot many questions was coming. And that was the one thing I always tell Anil that, okay, when four of us goes to the hospital, 50 lakhs will take care of us. So sometimes we do these are a risk uh, measures. I know, but it is a thousand time peace of mind when you have a good term cover and the good health cover. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so we'll be reading the first question asked by Mr. Madhusudan. In recent budget insurance policies with premium above five lakh per annum becomes fully taxable. Is the guarantee payouts tax-free products and are going to be definitely missed by most investors, right? In fact, last few months we all have been discussing about this great option, but most experts elsewhere used to ridicule it, but now it's going to be station. I think he has given his suggestion on that. Term. So just thank you, Madhu. Actually, the reason is true. Uh, when I was going through these uh, facts and figures and all, they say that only 17 to 20 percent people were taking uh, more than five lakhs. People are uh, still insurance companies are requesting to make a slab at 10 lakhs, not at five lakhs, because yes, five lakhs, many more people takes it. Now it is becoming a per pan. So I always feel they may take it as a two different pan of a husband and wife if they want a 10 lakhs, but 10 lakhs and above are only 17%. So I'm assuming the middle class and above will not impact much than a super HNI. Thank you. The next question is, which are the top three reliable health insurance providers? I personally don't know on uh, things. I can tell you, I have taken from ICICI before it was Apollo. Uh, it was, so I have been taking an ICC Lombard, but uh, you can think of a lot many things, but Max Bupa is nowadays giving a much more premium uh, liquidative kind of on a top ups. The good thing in a health insurance is you can do portability quite nowadays. So uh, you can just, I always ask one question and see and try to do Google is most of the time, how much claims are coming? Okay. I have seen that when we buy it, the claims are different versus this. Try to see and find it out from your Google friends and all how the claim ratio is. Claim ratios are not defined as of today more of a health, but if you are able to get that. But uh, at least in right horizons, a lot many people are on HDFC, Argo, ICAC, and Max Bupa is quite doing good. Thank you, ma'am. The next question is, any thumb rule how to decide upon the retirement corpus? I just told it, whatever is the money required, you can define it as 6% of your portfolio should be giving that much money. So if you have 1 crore, 1 crore ka 6%, you can do it and divide it by 12, that much monthly you will be getting without eroding the principal. Otherwise, you may erode the principal. Thank you, ma'am. Um, the next question is, please explain the budget provision with respect to 5 lakhs and above premium being taxable. This is a budget which is talking about a premium where people were paying around a guaranteed plan or any plans where your maturity value is tax-free. So now if somebody is buying, um, I am just trying to say you any premium. Now people say, no, I can buy the three insurance company. No, they are linking to your plan. So even if you buy one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, or two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, only maximum you can buy 5 lakhs across any insurance from 1st April 23, which will be actually tax-free. Above 5 lakhs, it will be a taxable. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, for retirement planning, do we focus on liquid money or asset? So that's another very good question. Yesterday, I answered to somebody, liquid money, you should make sure that Three, ma three years of your payout should be always in a debt. So even the market is down, you are very, very secure. So for that customer was 2 lakhs a month. So I told, means if you have a 70 lakhs 
or 75 lakhs in your debt funds, you should not to be worried. Your overall will be taken care of. So any amount what you are looking per month into 12 into 3 should be in a liquid when you have a portfolio of your retirement to make sure your three years of your payouts are very safe. Uh, thank you, ma'am. The next question is for retirement planning, which is better, long term SIP and mutual fund or fixed income plans for deferred retirement annual income plans? So, I normally divide both, which I have done for myself. I have taken around 60K uh, coming per month from the guaranteed plan, and the rest of the money is in SIP, which is giving me the good corpus. So, your basic money, I need a basic money at home is around 50,000 for the normal food and all the stuff, which is coming from my guaranteed plans. And the rest of the money of lifestyle, or you can say the appreciation is coming from the SIP and the mutual fund and the, I can say, overall level. I don't have a PMS. That's the only reason uh, because as a compliance officer, SEBI doesn't allow it. Otherwise, I think so. I have the all the funds what we recommend to the uh, all my uh, customers and other people. Thank you, ma'am. The next question is, with debt fund really going up now due to revised increasing interest rate yields, is it not waste time to enter or look at more towards debt category as a part of asset allocation? If it is a debt or equity, you can see the 10 years, uh, the average will come the same. Of course, debt was doing very bad around three or three and a half also in the last few years. So you should keep care of a debt. Debt can be debt mutual fund. It can be insurance. It can be PF, PPF, NPS. You can have uh, even um, bonds. These are the debt side which you can diversify over all of it. Thank you. The next question is regarding emergency fund. Uh, hi, ma'am. How to create an emergency fund for a woman who has just started a career? Do we need to park money every month for creating a purpose? How to create? A, we use contingency and emergency fund for a woman who just started a thing. Need to park. So I always believe that uh, I know FD sometimes is good, bad, ugly, but I always say contingency should be taken in the FDs. The reason is because you can redeem even Saturday, Sunday, holiday, or it is linked to your uh, debit cards. So you should keep it in an FDs and make sure sweep in will work it like a, any amount comes to you for that uh, above this uh, amount in your SB account should go to the FD that will take care of a contingency plans when you start. Paying them. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Kosi has a query, like in case I take your help for managing my fund, Will you take over my fund by converting it from direct mode into regular mode? Uh, Kaushik, it's, uh, we are the REI uh, certified. We are being, uh, having our own distribution and PMS, all the three certifications. So depending on what you wanted us to do, we will be taking the same. We do take care of a direct funds. We do take care of regular and PMS, all the three. Thank you. Uh, the next question is for retirement planning calculation, monthly expenses should be taken with all EMI and lifestyle as after certain age, EMI may not be applicable. Yeah, so that comes under part of the, I can say cash flow because if you have an EMI, so when you're taking a cash flow and taking a present value, we should take care of that part of it. This is another point, good point you have done it. Another customer told me, Rachna, when I'm taking a two lakhs, uh, let us take the taxability. So he add the what is tax need to be paid also be a part of the thing. So because when I was taking a two lakhs, I was not taking a tax part of it. So sometimes it is good to take either you reduce part and then take it or add the tax or a EMI. But in the cash flow, we take care of it. What I do it uh, on an average around 20 percent of the payout interest. I put it as the March ending as a tax income as a part of a portfolio when I'm doing the cash. The same thing, you can take a EMI, how long it goes, and then you can stop that part of it. And then we do a NPV, NPV takes care of all the part of it, that how much corpus you require. Thank you, ma'am. The next question is, if you are starting retirement plan at 45, then premium will be quite high. Is there any way for tax-free investment? The good thing is at the age of 45 or 55, the premiums are the same. Only thing is when they start the payouts, that makes a difference. There is no difference in 45 and 55 for a guaranteed plans. Okay, thank you. The next question is, can you please explain the difference of grid one and grid two of income tax layer? 
spending budget changes and which grid one should choose based on what factors you are trying to check about the regime one and regime two or old and new i'm assuming um it depends on the deductions the new one government wants to move into the simpler tax things that whatever is your slab and you will just go into the multiply by that much of taxability so last year they have removed 22 deductions this year they didn't give any benefits indirectly they are trying to tell you to move slowly to the new regime the old regime is where you can get atc atd you can get it uh, even the home loan tax benefits so that's another thing i keep saying if you have a home loans and you are availing the interest please continue the old regime and if it is not i think so you should do the both the side uh, calculation and the new regime will be the better off to go about it but the best thing is uh, you have to manage only once you can't keep switching between old and new you can do only once thank you ma'am uh, the next question is when does the new provision of 5 lakhs taxable come into effect what happens to old plans so there is a confusion in this the first 7 lakhs so in case if your salary is only 7 lakhs there is no tax to be paid but if you have a 7 lakhs 1 rupee also you have to pay tax of 35000 so there was a one good uh, what you call uh, this one was going on now uh, infographic in whatsapp somebody says oh you are not working i will make your salary 2 rupees higher so you will pay 35% so indirectly if your salary is going 7 lakhs even 10 rupees higher you have to pay 35000 because you will start coming into the slab based but if your salary is still 7 lakhs you don't have to pay about it so that is the difference actually is coming on overall thank you if somebody always or somebody already have the guaranteed plan with the premium more than 5 lakhs which has started before this it will be taxable no any things before 31st march even customers have 25 to 1 cr also premium nothing is going to be taxable thank you uh, i think mr kosik has the same query uh, will yeah uh, so we can speak to him later so we can go to the next uh, i have two lic policy in which they give guaranteed payback after 54 shall i go to endowment so i personally tell you you can give it to me illustration or just go through those lics if it is taxable or not okay that gives a lot of difference so if they are coming under pension plan or annuity they are taxable and lic again i am not against lic or something please try to do the xirr easiest way for me is get the illustration right where how much you are paying how much you are getting do word xirr i showed in excel you will know what is the best option to take it can be from lic or anything because everybody comes under irda